Hello guys, I have here a video showing you how to install and configure Arena um, for DOSBox. And obviously, uh, as I said, we're going to be using DOSBox, so you're going to want to download that and install it. I will put a um, link in the description. And you're going to want uh, Arena, the game, obviously, and you can get that from the Elder Scrolls website. And I will link that as well. Now, before we uh, bother to do anything there, we're going to want to uh, click on the Windows Orb and type Folder Options. And click on that, and go to the View tab, and where it says Hidden Files and Folders, check Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives, and uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types, and then click uh, Apply and OK. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and take the Arena Archive and you can extract it to uh, the desktop. And you'll get these two files and you want to copy them. Then go to your computer, your C drive and make a new folder on the C drive in the root of it. Oops, I made a new shortcut. New folder. And uh, you can call it what you like. Just remember what you call it. Um, I'm going to call it DOS Games. And I'm going to go into DOS Games and paste the two uh, files that we copied. And now I'm going to double click arena106.exe. And I'm going to go to browse where it says uh, destination folder. And go to computer, the C drive, and then DOS Games. Click OK and install. Now, you can actually just go ahead and run the executable from where you extract it, but I like to have the uh, Arena set up PDF and the um, original executable in the same uh, folder. That's just a personal preference in case anything goes wrong. You do not have to do it, although I would recommend it. Now, uh, once you've done that, you can either uh, delete these or you can go ahead and merge them into the Arena folder which I'm going to do and you can exit out of that for now and delete these and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up DOSBox and I will put this uh, either in the description or um, put it on the screen during editing uh, what you're going to type and that is going to be mount space C space C colon backslash and um, DOS games backslash and arena that's it hit enter and then hit c colon and now type install and we're in the arena folder right now so we're going to run the arena installer but we're not going to install the game we're going to go to configure game and select sound card and make sure that it is sound blaster or sb16 and hit enter on that and do the same for music card and you're going to want the I.O. port to be uh, 220 and just make sure to look over here and this is what the um, PDF says so I'm just kind of copying that verbatim and now we can go to done and go to exit and it's going to ask you uh, exit this program and it's going to say Y slash N just hit Y for yes and now type exit and we've exited DOSBox for now now we're going to want to go ahead and change the um, DOSBox configuration file. So go to computer, go to your C drive, go to users, your username, app data, local, and DOSBox. And we have this uh, one file here, DOSBox uh, 0, 0.74 .conf. And we cannot edit this as it is, so we're going to change the file extension to dot INI and hit enter and it'll ask you if you want to change it just hit OK and now we're going to go into it and change a few settings the first of which is going to be the full resolution it says original here we're going to make it zero by zero and it's a little weird but I did read it online and it works perfectly for me it'll go ahead and correct some problems with the aspect ratio and the full screen scaling and whatnot so change that to 0x0, zero 0x0, zero, zero zero, and change the output to OpenGL, which uh, typically works the best, although you can try uh, a few of the other ones. It highlights uh, 
or it goes over all these settings up here. And now go down, scroll down a bit to CPU, and you'll have these settings here. Change the core from auto to dynamic, and change the cycles anywhere between, actually first type fixed, then a space, then anywhere between uh, 15 and 30,000 seems to work quite well, depending on the detail you have the game running in, and also depending on your processor. So I would recommend kind of going up from 15 to 20 to 25 to 30 to see which works best for you. And um, for me, I like the detail up, although you'll see in game it doesn't really matter that much. So I put it at 30,000 cycles. And if you have a slower processor, this may be a problem, so uh, do keep that in mind. But once you've done that, you can go to File, Save, and Exit out of the configuration. And so DOSBox can read this. We're going to change the file extension back to .conf. And now we can exit out here. And um, believe it or not, that's it. So to run the game, which is all we have to do now, is uh, type again mount space c space c colon forward slash dos box oops and then arena or actually it's I actually meant to do uh, dos games there we go and then arena and then type arena or actually sorry c colon then type arena and this will go ahead and uh, run arena dot bat which is the file we're going to run to play the game and it'll start up. Okay, uh, the game will start out in windowed mode, and to get to full screen, just hit Alt Enter, and you want to leave it to start out in windowed mode. And just you know, every time you boot up, hit Alt Enter to go to full screen. And um, the sound right now, uh, if you can tell, is a bit distorted, but that is because I'm using Fraps, and it kind of makes it a little bit wonky. But either way. Okay, I died. Anyway, when you want to exit the game, if from in-game, just hit escape and then go to uh, drop to DOS or something. But obviously I'm at the main menu, so I go to exit, and then type the word exit and hit enter. And that is it. I do hope this was uh, sort of useful, and thank you for watching.